गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल टुडे वी आर गेटिंग स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक द टॉपिक इज ग्राफिकल मैथड फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ हिमल्स सो दिस इज़ अ डायग्राम दिस इज अ फोर्स टाइम डायग्राम दिस इज अ फोर्स एंड दिस विल बी टाइम दिस विल एक्स एक्स एंड वाई एक्सिस सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट इज वैन अ कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स एक्सट ऑन एक्ट ऑन अ बॉडी सो लेट अ कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स एफ विच इज नैदर चेंजिस इन माइंड और इन डायरेक्शन एक्ट ऑन अ बॉडी फॉर टाइम टी In this case, the force time graph is a straight line AB parallel to time axis. This is AB parallel to time parallel axis. Area of rectangle of A O A B C equal to O A into O C. O A can be written as a force and O C can be written as T. So, force into T this will be impulse can be written as J. With constant with with force time graph we can measure the impulse of a constant force so we can say the graphical method of measurement of impulse so second is when a variable force act, acts on a body so this is a time this will be force and this will be variable force and this will be small strip and let's start when a variable force act on a body let a variable force f act on a body for time t impulse equal to area under small interval so area under a b c d equal to a b into a c or we can say c d into b d so the a c can be written as force and a b can be written as delta t and this will be g this will be impulse thus the area gives the magnitude of the impulse of which acting on a body for the time interval ab so total impulse equal to sum of all strips there will be strip there will be a, a, lo, a lot of strips are there so total impulse equal to sum of all strips thus we conclude that the area under the force time graph gives the magnitude of the impulse of the given force during the time given interval time interval thank you